Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome to my three takeaways episode from the Jim Morris interview that I just released this past Monday. My first ever repeat guest on the Best You podcast. It was such an honor to be able to bring Jim back to share his story once again and to promote his new book, Dream Makers. I'm telling you, I get question after question about book recommendations off of because I, everyone knows I read a lot, um, both for the podcast guests and just read a lot in general. And a lot of the things that I read are things that I'm learning something from, like a specific topic that I'm learning about. But Jim's book is so much about his stories and the things that he's gone through and the negative situations and negative experiences that he's gone through and the lessons that he's learned and how he's come out higher and victorious on the other side. And back in, I think Christmas 2016 is when he said it was, is when he went to rehab for a little bit. And this was just an unbelievably tough thing for him to write about and be honest about and be open about. But to me, I just kept acknowledging him during the interview for being able to be so open and honest about these setbacks and negative situations in his life. Because to me, that's the things that inspire so many people. To be able to look up to somebody like Jim, who has done so many amazing things, and then to realize that he has these terrible, tough situations as well. But he fights through them, and he continues to get back up and continues to fight and continues to fight. And he has a bunch of these stories in his book, Dream Makers. So you guys make sure you go get Dream Makers. You can go to dreammakersbook.com. You can go on Amazon. There's a link in my um, in the podcast show notes where you can go get it as well. Make sure you get it. I'm telling you, one of the best books and one of the most amazing stories that you'll ever read. Um, with that being said, if you're not being motivated on Monday morning to start off your week with a bang and crush your week, Make sure you get my newsletter every single Monday morning. I send a Monday motivational trio, the 111 newsletter, which has one motivational quote, one inspiring video, and one badass workout for you to be able to crush Monday. Because if you crush Monday, you're going to set yourself up for success. You're going to build momentum to be able to carry through the rest of the week. Just go to nickcarrier.com slash 111-newsletter. Again, nickcarrier.com slash 111-newsletter newsletter. For now, let's get into my three takeaways, and I have a bonus today. Uh, So a fourth takeaway here for Jim Morris. Takeaway number one is have a short memory. Now, if any of you guys played baseball or are baseball fans, maybe you know that baseball is the sport where you have to have a short memory because if you strike out looking, you've got to go play defense that next inning, or you're going to be up again in the next couple of innings. You're going to have another chance at bat, and maybe it's going to be two outs where the base is loaded and the game on the line, and you're going to have to deliver. So you have to be able to put that past failure away. Now, with that being said, that doesn't mean not learn from your past failures. You still have to learn, but the point is you have to be optimistic. You have to be positive, and you have to believe in yourself moving forward. You can't let that negative memory hold you back from having a positive memory and a positive experience moving forward. And he definitely learned that with all the negative things that he's been through uh, in his life and in his baseball career as well. Takeaway number two is if Jesus is in your vehicle, let him take the wheel. Now, if you're not religious, this still applies to you. And it really applied when he was talking about how he went to rehab. And the first guy that he talked to when he went to rehab was like, oh my gosh, I love your story. You're awesome guy. But like, how did you end up here in rehab? And Jim was like, I lost my faith. And he was like, I've always known that Jesus should be my co-pilot and everything like that. And then the poor guy stopped him. He was like, hang on. If Jesus is in your vehicle, why not let him take the wheel? Why is he your co-pilot? And then a switch went off in Jim's head. He was like, oh my gosh, you're right. And to me, the biggest takeaway for this takeaway and for people who are not religious is just Worry about the things that you can control and have the faith and belief that there is some higher power or there are other things going on in your life that are conspiring in your favor. Now, whether or not you truly believe that those things are happening in the background, it still does you better up in your mindset and towards your actions if you believe that there are things conspiring in your favor. So if you can make that flip of the switch to... Let Jesus take the wheel and not you just let him be your co-pilot. Then it's going to be very beneficial. Takeaway number three is it's not always a handout that we need. It's a hand up. And I think this is so key because one of the things I, I say a lot, and you maybe have heard 
heard me say before is so many people in this world know the things that they should be doing to improve different areas of their life, but they're not doing them. So it's not necessarily a handout that they need. It's not necessarily someone telling them and educating them, do this. It's a hand up. It's they need somebody to be by their side, to maybe hold them accountable or to push them along when they're not that motivated. And so that's Jim's goal moving on in his life right now is it's not giving people a hand out. It's reaching down, giving people a hand up and making sure they never give up and they keep chasing after whatever it is that they're chasing after for. And then the bonus takeaway, take, takeaway number four, my favorite actually, is have the humility to know you're not invincible, but the fortitude to get up and keep going. Now the first part, the humility to know you're not invincible. This means that when you screw up, or when you fail, or when you balk the first time in a pitching experience like Jim did, or when you trip over your shoelace in a pitching experience in front of tens of thousands of people like Jim did, that doesn't mean you sulk in that negative experience. It means that you have humility, you laugh at yourself, and you're okay with the struggle, you're okay with the failure, you're okay with having a weakness. But then the second part, but the fortitude to get up and keep going. You have the courage, you have the strength to laugh it off put your head down and get back up and go to work. He tripped over his shoelace and then he got back on that mound and he delivered one hell of an inning. If you fall down and and you make a mistake, don't let that stop you from taking action or trying again. If you don't get a job, don't let that put you down and not apply for that next job the next day. Get up and keep going and realize you're not invincible, but have the fortitude to keep charging forward. So again, guys, my three slash four takeaways. Number one is have a short memory. Don't let one negative memory hold you back from being able to generate a positive memory moving forward. Number two is if Jesus is in your vehicle, let him take the wheel. Worry about about the things that you can control and have faith and belief that there are things in the background conspiring in your favor. Takeaway number three is it's not always a handout that we need. It's a hand up. So many people know what they do, they just don't, so many people know what to do, they just do, don't do what they know. So be willing to motivate them to hold them accountable, and bring them along with you. And then takeaway number four was have the humility to know you're not invincible, but the fortitude to get up and keep going. When you fail, laugh it off, and then get your ass back up, and let's go to work the next time. I hope you guys enjoyed these four takeaways from Jim. I just am so passionate about his interview and so passionate about him and his message and his stories because not many books do I read and my jaw just drops, and I had to put the book down and digest what I just read. And during his book, I had to do that multiple times because of all the things that he's been through and the vulnerability and the openness that he had to share his story. So make sure you go to dreammakersbook.com to get it because it will surely help you get closer and closer to your best you.